today we discuss the success story about the aim word more open and connected who and what is his path what we learn from that person let's see in this video as you work on them you just have to get started i want to share what i've learned about our generation and the world we're all building together. I'm here to tell you that finding your purpose isn't enough. Purpose is that feeling that you are a part of something bigger than yourself, that you are needed and that you have something better ahead to work for. Purpose is what creates true happiness. You know, that movie made it seem like face smash was so important to starting Facebook. It wasn't. But without face smash, I never would have met Priscilla. And Priscilla is the most important person in my life. And a lot of people are feeling disconnected and depressed and are trying to fill a void in their lives. I remember that night I launched Facebook from that little dorm in Kirkland House. I went to Noakes with my friend KX, and I remember telling him clearly that I was excited to help connect the Harvard community, but one day someone would connect the whole world. The thing is, it never even occurred to me that that someone might be us. There were all these great big technology companies with all these resources, and I just assumed one of them would do it. But this idea was so clear to us that all people want to connect. So we just kept working on it, day after day after day. We'll always get criticized for moving too fast because there's always someone who wants to slow you down. Some big companies wanted to buy us. I didn't want to sell. I wanted to see if we could connect more people. Nearly everyone else wanted to sell. Without a sense of higher purpose, this was their startup dream come true. And it tore our company apart. After one particularly tense argument, one of my close advisors told me if I didn't agree to sell the company right now, I would regret that decision for the rest of my life. Relationships were so frayed that within a year or so, every single person on our management team was gone. That was my hardest time leading Facebook. I believed in what we were doing, but I felt alone. And worse, it was my fault. I wondered if I was just wrong, an imposter, a a 22-year-old kid who had no idea how things actually worked. Now, years later, I understand that that is how things work when there's no sense of higher purpose. So it's up to all of us to create it so we can all keep moving forward together. J.K. Rowling got rejected 12 times before she finally wrote and published Harry Potter. Even Beyonce had to make hundreds of songs to get Halo. The greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. Facebook wasn't the first thing I built. I also built chat systems and games, study tools and music players, and I'm not alone. The challenge for our generation is to create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. 